So you can see in this drawing here, I've got quite a few layers in here. Um, just everything from my different floor types, um, different annotation types. So, I mean, there's a lot of layers here and I have to deal with these and scroll up and down and back and forth. It obviously can be counterproductive a lot of times, especially when I work with particular groups of layers. Um, you know, maybe I, I do a lot with annotations and like have everything turned off. So to have to bounce back and forth is, is really not the most productive thing ever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the layer properties palette and down here at the bottom, notice I can actually expand and collapse the layer filters. Now the buttons here in the upper left are always there for creating my, my property, my layer filters, but I can expand and actually see what's in here. Now when it is collapsed, what I can do is actually peekaboo it. So I can actually peekaboo and I can actually see, let me just move that up a little bit. I can actually see the same idea. So I don't have to expand this out to, to access that if, if I don't want to, especially if I'm just gonna activate the, the layer filter. Now the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a group filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click here and what I'm gonna do is create a new group filter. Now I could do the same thing, come up here and click group filter, it's all the same. So I'm gonna right click here, I'm gonna say new group filter and I'm gonna call this um, annotating. So there's my annotating, although I think I might have spelled it wrong. There's my annotating one. And what I'm gonna do is go back to all so I see everything. And what I'm gonna do is, well I'd really like to see we like to see dims and text, so I'm going to drag and drop those. And I'd also like to see the um, couple of these floor layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop and add them there. So now what I can do is I can click on this and notice that it filters out just for these layers. Now I'm going to go into my options here because in the options what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm applying that layer filter to the layer toolbar. So now, let's just minimize this, now notice I guess I turned it off. Now notice that I only see the active layer, which was layer zero, and those layers that were my layer group, so or so my layer filter. So very quickly, I was able to take that list of 50 layers and take it down to less than 50. So then what I can do is just come back in here and quickly bounce back and forth. We can see all the layers are back there again. I pick on my annotating one, and we can see it's just those particular layers. So very easy to add and, add and remove. So I'm thinking, well, I don't really want these ones. So I'm gonna right click and I'm going to remove from the group filter. I'm gonna go back to my all one because what I realized is I really wanted the walls there. So I'll drag and drop and you can see I've updated my, my um, layer filter. So just like that, it's really easy to create um, group layer filters.